Javier, we're here at Correa in Spain. DTS UK are the suppliers of these machines in the UK market. This is some machine. It's huge. What is it? Well, this is the biggest machine we have we have produced in Nicolas Square in, in all our history, a history of more than 70 years producing milling machines. So what's the model? This is a Versa MW. It's M because it's a gantry type, so we move the whole bridge. In this case, we have 20 meters of x-axis travel, and it is W because uh, apart from the ram movement, we can move the crosswind up and down. In this case, the ram travel is 2 meters plus the travel of the cross beam up and down is 2.5 meters. So the, the, the W axis moves up and down to support the ram really, so you don't have the ram fully extended. Yeah, you can adapt the position of the cross beam to adapt the position of the ram you want to have. And what did you say to me, the, what, what, what's the Y axis on this? Well, the Y travel is 7.8 meters and the, the distance between the columns is 6.6 .6 meters. So what, what, what on earth is someone going to be manufacturing on a machine like this? What, what, well, where have you sold this machine to? What are they doing? Yeah, well, this machine is going to China. And the main purpose of this machine is to produce or to machine big parts for big generators, big motors. In this case, huge and massive stators. So do you have uh, a rotary table underneath this that the, the, the status goes on? Yeah, so this machine has like two working areas. One is with a normal floor plate and another area is with a rotary table, 4.5 meters of diameter. What about the head on this machine as well that we've got here? Is that, is that a fixed head to this machine or do you have a head changing unit as well? Well, we, we can see the head magazine here. So we have uh, different heads. Uh, we have a, a complex combination of heads. We have a five axis or two, two contouring axis gear head, the one we can see now, plus one uh, indexing head and plus one let's say front spindle high torque. How, how long does it take you to build a machine like this? Uh, how much goes into it? Well, I mean, the total lead time uh, from the moment we get the order to the moment it is ready here is around 12 months. And is everything done here in this factory? So we, we are obviously, the, the, we're in the final stages of this machine, I assume, are we? Yeah, well, we, we, we produce everything because even we produce our own machine structure, we machine all the structural frames of the machine and we made the whole assembly and of course we produce and we design all the heads so and, and is this machine pretty much finished is this almost ready to go to the customer yeah it's it's almost finished maybe we need one week more but it's almost finished yeah do you sell many of these into europe or are we talking about markets such as china and uh, you know going well, beyond europe yeah well, i mean for this massive machine normally uh, the main market for us is china and india in europe is it's difficult to sell such a big machines. In Europe, it's more common to sell a standard Fox double column machines. Would you say that this is a good way to demonstrate Correa's capability? So this is a good way to show off just what you can do? Yeah, absolutely, because not only because of the dimension of the machine, which is also challenging, but also because of the complexity of the heads, because we are talking about five axes, six axes, because we have rotary table plus two contouring continuous axis plus indexing heads, so it's a real, really complex machine because we have many many life axes because even the w axis is a life axis so you can move the y axis while machining so you have to control imagine two axes on the head one axis on the rotary table two axes in the w plus the three axis of the machine so uh, it, very complex but highly flexible absolutely very very flexible but quite complex yeah